In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a full beginner's guide to Synthesia. If you find this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing, and let's get right into it. Now first of all, what you need to do is head over to Synthesia.io, and it's spelled S-Y-N-T-H-E-S-I-A dot I-O. And once you do that, you're going to be shown this page here. So this is their sign up page and we go ahead here and click get started for free. Something that's good about it is that it requires no credit card so you can literally just test it out for free right away. So click on this button here and now we can go ahead and select which plan we want. Now if you want to use it for free we can go ahead and just do the zero a month one which gives us the base features and as you obviously go up the plans you're going to be getting uh, slightly more uh, features overall but I'll speak about those a bit later. For now we can press get started. And at this point you just need to do a little bit of onboarding, so putting your email in, password, uh, your name, all of that kind of stuff, just so they can uh, get an idea of why you're using it, that kind of thing. So go ahead, create your account and I'll see you inside. Okay, so now that we're inside, it's going to give us an, a first two minute video to create. So it says create your first video in two minutes and you can go ahead and select do you want a company intro, personal intro or weekly update. I'm just going to go ahead with personal intro here. I'm going to press create my first video. So as you can see here it only supports um, Chrome and Edge. Um, so for the best experience use one of those two um, there. What we can do here is we can go ahead and use it similar to a PowerPoint for example. It works as like a slideshow. So what I could do here is I could put in the name of the company. So I could just put uh, something like this. And I could say hello. And I could put like my department. And just to change all of this stuff is very easy. You just double click on it and you can just change the text in here. So I'll just put um, HR or HR and sales, let's say. Um, and what we can do as well, if we select any of the elements here, for example, I've got this hello button. It's uh, You've got, first of all, you've got your like formatting, so you've got your different title, title one, title two, subtitle, um, like this. You can go ahead and change that. Or if you just want to undo it, press control Z, and we can go over here, change the font. So let's say we want this font, we can change the color. Um, we can change it from bold, you know, the, the thickness of it, so we can have it this. And uh, we can even change like the size here, the uh, alignment. Basically you've got all of your different sort of customization features you've got here, even like your height of the lines, um, the width, so you can make it tighter or um, less, you've got your opacity, you've even got things like shadows, you can go ahead and edit here, and you've got your animations in and out. So your animations, you can select the animations, um, so there's like some logic you can use with it. And it's based upon these words at the bottom, which I'll talk about in a second. But we can go ahead and say, we want hello to enter when they say hi, for example. We want it to fade in. We can select how it fades in. We can bounce, smooth, linear. Um, we can select the duration, the delay, all that kind of stuff. And we can also edit with an exit as well. And they have all of these other ones here. So you've got your scaling options. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's given me a little bit of a demo of what they look like. Just like that. So what we can do from here as well. Uh, we now have down here our sort of actor. It's going to be this person here. And there's a few settings we can do with this. We can go ahead and just click on him. And we can replace avatar if we want to. So what we can do, which is pretty cool, we can go ahead and pick one of these avatars here. Uh, there's so many to choose from. And you can see the ones with like a little, uh, some of them like this with a lightning bolt. These are ones that you have to pay for, I believe. But let's say we want to go ahead and pick Thomas, we can go ahead and click on that. It's going to replace it in there just like that. You can change, do you want it full body or do you want to circle around it? Uh, you can replace the avatar. You can even do a personal one here, which basically is going to be you and they can AI um, generate that essentially. Uh, again, you can have stuff like your animations in and out um, or you can just remove those. Once you've gone ahead and selected it, you can also change all the sizing here. But this is where we can go ahead and edit what he says. So uh, obviously we've got our speakers here, we have the language here and also the way they speak. So you've got your natural, you've got natural too. But there's lots of different sort of tone variations you can choose from which is really useful depending on the type of uh, video you're making. So I can go ahead and select this and I can say hello there. I'm Thomas. Uh, Thomas. 
part of the sales crew. And what we can do from here is we can go ahead and press the play button. And it might take a second to load. Hey there, I'm Thomas, part of the sales crew. And there we go, that's basically going to um, speak the, the, the text that we've put in there. We can also add things like gestures, um, which is pretty cool. We can have eyebrows up, nodding, yes, no, pausing. Um, you can change the pronunciation. So if you want to go ahead and uh, change how they say sales, you can change it. So um, you can change sort of the way it's said and you basically have to type it in the way it sounds rather than where it's spelt. Um, but basically what we can do here is where we can add spacing, so or like a space, so we can add like a background for example. We can add our text, we can add shapes here, so if we want to add an arrow in we can go ahead and do that. We can add media, so we've got all this media, we can upload media, we can add GIFs or icons, and we can even go over here and we can record stuff as well. Once we're happy with it, we can go on to the second scenes here, so we have all of our scenes across here. Uh, and we can just add new scene, and they even have like templates here for the different scenes. So it might take a second to load, but um, you're going to see a ton of different templates you can go ahead and choose from. We're on the default template here, but if you go back to templates, they have a load of templates for uh, different things. You've got your outreach, you've got your uh, marketing, your all of these different ones here you can go ahead and choose from. Now what we can do when we're happy is we can press generate, and we can go ahead and generate it. It takes 10 minutes to process. Uh, we can burn in the captions, meaning we can have the captions on the screen. We can title it, uh, just like that. We can also go up here and just sort of like preview it. Hey there, I'm Thomas, part of the sales crew. Zero, zero. I'm here to tackle challenges, find smart solutions, and yes, spring. So there you go, you can see it's produced a video for what we've just done. Now we can go back here, and once we go back, this is sort of like the, the main dashboard you're going to be on. You're going to see uh, you've got your recent projects, you've got Get Inspired, so these are some projects you can go ahead and try. You've got your uh, templates here, so we already spoke about templates. You have videos, trash, library, avatars, so if you want to add some avatars in here, um, you can build an avatar, you can record yourself, which is pretty cool. Um, you can upload like green screen footage of yourself, and then you can even go here and you can clone your own voice. So if you create my voice, you obviously have to pay for the plan for this but it will allow you to clone your voice which sounds very very uh, good. And lastly something else I want to show you as a feature for this which is pretty cool you can go to the top here click on your name and if you go to preferences here you can go down to where it says members and that allows you to add team members to this so if you have any team members who are working on your uh, projects or anything like that um, you can go ahead and add them here so that you can collaborate all on your tasks together. But that's just a really basic beginner's tutorial beginner's tutorial for um, Synthesia. If you found the video useful, be sure to like and subscribe, uh, and I'll see you in the next one.